Okay, <clears throat> so what I have here is another one of those uh, ficus um, triangularis. I hope I'm saying that right. Um, much like my other video, this is also one of those uh, ficuses that I have that I think I consider um, some of the oldest ones that I have here. Um, this is also, these three also used to belong to my mom. Kind of like, I kind of like took most of her trees, um, killed a lot of them, but somehow these guys survived. Um, it used to be, I, um, let me discuss the trunk first of this tree. Um, this used to be buried up to here and it used to stand upright. But um, I placed it somewhere near uh, one of our trees here at home, which was planted on the ground. And when um, when I was in Indonesia, um, my uh, my wife had that particular tree uh, chopped down, and it fell on this uh, bonsai, which is which is why it's uh, skewed right now. Um, uh, what else? Um, I chopped this off hoping to... Um, I have a, a, another plan for this tree but um, right now it's... I don't think I can do it right now but when I look at the tree from this side I can still see uh, a lot of potential from it for it. Okay, um, some yellow leaves. Let me take that off. Okay, so I'm torn whether I'm gonna go for this as the front or this one right here as the front. I'm not sure if I'm gonna go for this side as the trunk. Uh, I mean, as the front, I could uh, turn this into a cascade right there, like that, and then some interesting uh, dead wood feature here here. Okay, so I'm not sure about that. This one on the other side as well is also interesting. Same uh, wideness in terms of the base. Um, it also, if this is the front, this would also be um, an interesting feature, although this one is a bit ugly. Um, we could turn the branch here as kind of like a back branch or something and then develop the tree from this side use this uh, thicker leader to create our apex obviously I may have to um, cut down or or just you know keep, keep this and um, shape the tree from that so I'm not sure obviously I'm not gonna go for this as the front um, it's not as wide as the other two options that we have okay so um, for now this is the, the front, this is the acting front for now, the way the tree is uh, positioned, although that is not the original setup, <laughs> because uh, that's not the original plan. In the original plan, this was buried, this was section right here was buried and the tree actually stands upright in the original plan, but um, you know, things happen, I was not here and um that that those things happen if um i'm thinking i may not have to cut that leader down so much if i'm gonna keep this as the, the front um, because i could like develop from here it already has some uh branches in position this one uh, this one um, this one probably we could take away this one also we could form this as uh, the leader or for the apex this one we could uh, we could actually wire the tree like this to create that, that sweeping motion um, something like that to kind of like uh, uh, create an illusion of a fallen tree that kind of like tries to um, survive with the elements and um, 
make that sweeping motion and create that um, where you have the end of this tree uh, these roots from here and the branches going down there creating a more compact and um, how do I say this um, unified if that is the right term design to it rather than create the the tree the structure from this side and um, uh, making this a detached feature why don't I just um, wire it back here and create the probably create the apex from somewhere around here and that would um, create a more um, unified design uh, where I can incorporate both these and the apex all in one place and this one we could create to we could wire to kind of like fill up that space over there I don't know that's that's an interesting um, idea to consider um, obviously I think uh, this tree needs a uh, repot soon but, um, I think it's healthy enough to uh, for me to get started working on it so. Yes, I like that part where I'm gonna create that section. So I'll probably wire this this tree down here like a guy wire or something that would keep the tree in place like that. Yeah, I think I'll do that. A guy wire would be nice. And then we could keep that and then uh, create the apex or use this, train this for the apex or something. I think that would do for now. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, take a guy wire for this one, for this side right here. So we will have that sweeping motion of, we will have that um, sweeping motion of the tree. Then, um this one i'm not sure yet so I'll, I'm, I'm not gonna touch that the only thing i'll be doing would be uh a guy wire right here and um some pruning maybe shortening them up a little bit or something so at least we have uh, an overall uh, structure or uh, idea on this particular tree Okay, so that would be it. Okay, so I've done some heavy wiring and uh, pruning on this th tree. Um, if you go back up, you could see that are, there are uh, very few branches left, and most of them were already shortened down. Um, originally, there were two. Uh, branches that sprouted up from my uh, cut right here um, it did not heal well anyway so this is we're looking at it from the back um, as you can see this one there's a gap here but I still use uh, this one as kind of like the uh, first branch of some sort I have to clean up the wiring later Okay, so if you look at it from the front, it serves as a first branch right there. But actually, it's a, there's a gap there. So that's that. Um, it used to be longer here, and then it's it has one uh, minor branch right here. I cut off that longer section to allow for uh, taper and ramification. So that's that. Hopefully, this one also will develop in the next years that would come so that's that um, I cut it off right here I hope you could see it there and then continued with this one eventually when this one grows um, longer we could cut it back down to continue develop uh, ramification and um, taper of that particular branch 
Okay, so this larger section here I uh, considered the uh, leader. So I bent it with wires and uh, bent it farther going down here. This it used to be longer and then there are three I think uh, branches sprouting out from this one. I just thought it's uh, way way too long and um, it's uh, no longer uh, it, it really goes into here like almost like a cascade so I thought like um, I'm not making a cascade out of this one so to make it to make the tree more compact I cut it off and I would develop uh, this one as kind of like the the ending uh, kind of like the, the one that would continue with the flow of the tree but I'm not going to make it very very long I eventually I'm gonna wire it into position here but I wanted the tree to be just as, as uh, this section right here I wanted only to end just about here so not much changes with this one after that this one we did not cut off because we are going to train this to be a back branch and provide depth right here obviously it's not uh, long enough so we will have to let that grow and um, wire it in the future to fill this space up okay so if you look closely we have first branch right here this one i'm not decided really yet if i would uh, but um, it looks good on, on this section right here so we have that kind of like uh, sort of like a branch as well on that section and then um, we are hoping to build the apex using this one right here so we're going to build the crown from either this one or if if this one continues to grow we could develop that and use that to build the apex here okay so um, that's that if you look at the tree it's a little bit more compact now it still looks uh, way way too shabby very very few leaves very very few branches but that's uh, usually how it goes right so we're gonna by, with all the cuts that we made it's going to uh, encourage the, the tree to um, bud up and create new branches okay so if you notice this one I uh, wanted to bring it a little bit lower so I hooked this up with a wire and then um, anchored it down here okay so it's um, it goes a little bit lower and I think it uh, helps to um, make the tree way more compact rather than have the, this section going right up here I think that's way too high so I lowered it a little bit I lowered it down a little bit okay so that's that um, there will be probably some changes here in this section um, next time I'm gonna be working on this tree or um, we could probably shorten this one and use this instead again for um, ramification and uh, um, taper of the branch yeah I think we could do that because it's still a bit too long and it kind of like uh, um, competes with this one so we're probably going to shorten that and um, encourage the tree to develop the apex from this section instead so we're gonna reposition them Okay. but I'm not going to I'll probably do that in, in a while okay and then probably bend this a little bit lower to encourage the tree to maybe bend it a little bit lower here okay that's that hopefully the tree will uh, also push some growth in this area this area as well so we could fill this up um, this is a bit too long which forces us to bend it like this hopefully we can uh, hopefully it would um, put out growth somewhere here here so that we could create that the apex a little bit lower or if if it would develop from this section right here we could eliminate this but but not now not yet Okay, so this is how the tree looks right now it doesn't have a back branch so it doesn't have a depth right now because this one is still uh, in development we have to let that grow for a bit 
and develop. We have removed all the branches that are growing here because they are growing into the design and kind of like into the bend, so we don't want that. Um, there were two branches here, smaller ones, we eliminated them. Okay, um, so basically this is how the tree looks right now. I opted to use this um, as the front. Um, I would be able to carve this one in the future and create more uh, character to the tree. Probably um, unite, the, I probably connect these two and then carve this one out because it's still um, way too ugly. But I opted for this as the front because of the, the wideness, the wideness of the base and then of course the movement that this one has. Then these are all artificial movement. These are natural ones, so that's a good one. This one we have to carve because it doesn't look so good. Um, if this develops farther and thicken up farther, we'll have a very very wide base then. Okay, so um, I don't know. I'd probably remove this one because um, look at that it. Uh, it closes over and uh, it's usually not a good thing for for stuff like that to be crisscrossing so anyway we have that one at the back which would help uh, thicken this one so we could probably remove this one so i think we'll just go ahead and remove it right now okay. Okay, so that's that. We could uh, remove it now. Okay, so it that cleans things up a little bit. Okay, sorry about that. <laughs> sorry about that. I'm gonna remove this one later. Okay, so that's that. That's how it looks now. Okay, you could further cut it from this one. So this will be the aerial root that will power this one up. So it would thicken faster because of this one. Um, although eventually we would cut this one off and just encourage these roots right here to continue powering this one up. Okay, this one we probably keep. This one we would deal with this when we repot. Probably remove this one, that, that one when we uh, repot the tree. I like the, the way the tree is uh, positioned right now. This is probably how it's going to look when we repot it. So that one we're going to remove. Um, when we repot this in June, we probably use uh, wider um, container. A little bit more shallower probably, but a little bit more shallow, but wider definitely to encourage um, radial roots. Okay, so this is how the tree looks right now. Sparse, but um, this one is still a little bit long. I'm gonna go ahead and um, cut that off and uh, post a picture of the finished uh, tree with all the cuttings. Okay, so I think that's uh, pretty much it.